He's the worst celebrity in the world. He's the best actor in the world, and he's the worst celebrity in the world. Wait a minute. Emily Blunt finally breaks the silence about Killian Murphy and what happened between them at the 2024 Oscars. Oppenheimer won big, grabbing awards like Best Picture. Killian Murphy shined as J. Robert Oppenheimer, winning Best Actor. But there's more. The real magic comes from the deep friendship between Murphy and Emily Blunt, making their movie chemistry even better. How does their off-screen bond make their acting shine? Explore the exciting story behind Oppenheimer's wins, a story that will keep you hooked from start to finish. Before we go on, please make sure you hit the subscribe button for our channel. Thanks a lot in advance. The movie was the star of the show, winning the top prize for Best Picture, Best Director for Christopher Nolan, and Best Supporting Actor for Robert Downey Jr. Murphy got the award for Best Actor for his praised performance as theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer. The actor expressed feeling overwhelmed by winning and said, I'm a very proud Irishman standing here tonight. He thanked Nolan and producer Emma Thomas for the craziest, most exciting, and most creatively fulfilling experience you've given me. Murphy also showed appreciation to every single crew and cast member you supported me throughout. He finished by saying, We made a film about the, the man who created the atomic bomb, and for better or for worse, we're all living in Oppenheimer's world, so I would really like to dedicate this to the peacemakers everywhere. Moreover, the actress spoke in a very nice way. Blunt mentioned that Murphy is unlike other celebrities because he doesn't handle compliments well and only cares about his work, not fame. During an interview with CBS, Blunt was asked, does he, Murphy, realize how talented he is? And the actress immediately shook her head. I think he's always searching. He's always looking forward. He's looking at, what more can I achieve? How can I push myself further? What could satisfy this creative passion within him? Explained the respected actress. When the host asked why he's her favorite actor, the actress replied, because he's unmatched in his abilities and how he captivates you. It's captivating. The whole room feels alive when you work with him. It's great to work with him. The actress, who has been nominated for an Oscar, expresses her admiration for Murphy as she shares her thoughts. Now, let's talk about something very interesting. The relationship between the world's most introverted actor, Killian Murphy, and Emily Blunt. How did it all begin? Killian's just incredible. And, look at him staring at us right look now. Look at him just, at just giving me the eyes. Those eyes. Looking at, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. <laughs> um, he's, he's like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> I mean, he's so arresting, you yeah. know, to be in a scene with. He's absolutely brilliant, but he's so polite and shy and sort of like the antithesis of his character. He's quite reserved, isn't he? Very, yeah. yeah. Oppenheimer has a lot of famous actors. There are Oscar winners, superheroes, and actors who are popular in independent films. The main actor in the movie is Killian Murphy, who plays the scientist the movie is named after. Murphy has worked with Christopher Nolan before, especially as Scarecrow in The Dark Knight trilogy, but this is the first time he's playing the main character for Nolan. Emily Blunt is also in the movie, playing Oppenheimer's wife, Catherine. This is her first time working with Nolan. Nolan's movie about Oppenheimer is as focused on his personal life as it is on the impact of the atomic bomb. In the three-hour film, Oppenheimer, we get a close look at the scientist's mind and his relationships with his family. While he's working on the atomic bomb for the United States, he's also trying hard to keep his marriage with Catherine strong, as they have children together. One of the best parts of the movie is the great chemistry between Murphy and Blunt on screen. It's no surprise they have such good chemistry, since they've worked together before. They both starred in A Quiet Place Part 2, with Murphy playing the mysterious character Emmett. Blunt was thrilled to work with Murphy again on Oppenheimer. I adore him as a person, Blunt said to NBC. He's a friend. I loved working with him before. We have a lot of trust with each other. Blunt explained that working with someone she knows well gives her a feeling of freedom in the scene. It's like we have our own special language, Blunt suggested. Even though Killian Murphy and Emily Blunt are friends in real life because of their work together in A Quiet Place Part 2, their characters in Oppenheimer don't get along well. While Oppenheimer and Catherine are married, their relationship isn't smooth sailing, something Blunt was eager to delve into. 
and I loved that going into this and stepping into the shoes of this rather stormy couple that we knew each other, Blunt said, hinting at the tense relationship her character has with Oppenheimer in the movie. In Oppenheimer, the main character gets involved in a romantic relationship with Jean Tatlock, played by Florence Pugh. Because Oppenheimer and Catherine are dealing with different emotions, it's understandable that Murphy and Blunt approached their performances differently. For Blunt, having a shared experience with Murphy was freeing, allowing them to adjust their performances to each other's preferences. So we understood all the subtleties of how the other one liked to work, but I think the scenes with Killian because he's so immersive, they always seem to take on a life of their own beyond what's written, and that's why I enjoy working with him so much. Blunt explained. In another interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Murphy shared his thoughts on working again with his A Quiet Place Part 2 co-star. I think there's something special that comes naturally when you work with people you've worked with before. It can really show on screen especially if you're portraying a couple with a past, Murphy said, hinting at the complicated relationship between his character and Catherine. Killian Murphy and Emily Blunt became close friends during their time working on Oppenheim which made their experience even more special. Before A Quiet Place Part 2, directed by Blunt's husband, John Krasinski, the two actors hadn't met. However, Murphy was so impressed by the first Quiet Place movie that he wanted to reach out to Krasinski and Blunt to commend them. After I saw the movie, I was so impressed by it I wanted to write to John Krasinski because I didn't know him and I hadn't worked with Emily before, Murphy told Wen, via The Independent, in 2020. He started composing an email, ultimately decided not to send it, thinking Krasinski didn't need his praise and it turns out that Krasinski and Blunt were big fans of Murphy. Krasinski explained to The Hollywood Reporter how they decided to cast Murphy in A Quiet Place Part 2 after seeing his performance in the popular BB series Peaky Blinders. I've been a fan of Killian's for a long time, but I had just finished the A Quiet Place Part 2 script, probably not even a week before we were getting back into Peaky Blinders, Krasinski said. He went on to explain how they needed a skilled actor for the role of Emmett, not realizing that Murphy, who they had been watching in Peaky Blinders, was the perfect fit. And I remember Emily sitting on the couch, like, oh my god, of course, he's literally been right under our nose for the last four months. How did we not think of this earlier? Krasinski recalled. He's my favorite actor I've ever worked with. And why? Because he's unparalleled in what he can do and how he pulls you in. And it's, it's, it's the kidnap. It's the kidnap. It's the, it's the whole room crackles with a sort of life force when you work with him. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. We promise even better content. See you soon.